हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो गाइस वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर लार्व ऑनलाइन ई कॉमर्स सीरीज सो नाउ गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक अ फिल्टर ऑप्शन फॉर दिस प्रोडक्ट्स ओके सो नाउ गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू अचीव द ब्रांड स्पॉट लाइक दिस इज दिस फोन इज एम आई ब्रांड एंड दिस इज विवो ब्रांड एंड अगेन एम आई ब्रांड सो ऑल द ब्रांड फिल्टर वी आर गोइंग टू मेक ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स मूव टू दिस पाथ गाइस and create one sidebar as a brand filter so first let's move to this collection and your category slug let's move and move to your web.php so here is our collections and your category slug let's move to this front end controller copy control e and search for that opened and now guys you need to go at the products function okay so you need to search control f and you get your products function so now guys at this you move to your blade just control click and you will be reached fine guys and you see that we have converted the product view in a live wire so we need to move to that live wire component okay and here is our output this is our live wire blade where this output comes all set guys and now let us create one row over here r o w row and one column md3 and again column md9 where let's do control x and just move your product details in one column md9 okay so now guys here i want to design a card simple card let's use card and your card header and a h4 tag with the name brands okay so all the brands will be filtered here and the card body and your card body your brand list will show here like label and let's use this class and display block and here in an input tag we will be using the brand list so here we will show our brand like mi or levis whatever and now guys this is a checkbox all set let's save and now guys let's see the output refresh perfect so we get this guys over here like checkbox and this is this has become too small so you can increase the column size let's move below and here in your products for each loop instead of 3 make it to 4 okay now if you refresh perfect guys so now let's uh, get all the brand list of whatever you have inserted so you are not going to get all the brand list instead you will get the category brand list okay whatever it belongs to so this is mobile category only mobile category brand list will be getting okay so we have three mobile brand list yep let's get back and so now guys we have to get all the brand list okay so we can get from this category dollar category only so you can just use in the card body let's use for each loop and here you set dollar category of brands so only specific category brands will be displaying it as we are getting the specific category products so now guys let's paste here and yep so here instead of item this is brand item let's copy and paste here the brand name and the same data will be pasting in our checkbox value attribute based here and now guys let's check this relationship is given in the category model or not so for that let's go to category.php okay let's move models and here we have a category.php perfect so now guys we don't have a brands model let's copy this products and paste here and let's name it as brands okay and this this category has many brands so let's tell brand model and in that brand model we have a category id 
and this is the primary key id okay all set and now guys we need to check one more condition that it is visible or not so here you see that visible if it is hidden so that condition also we can apply it here directly so we don't have to validate over in the front end like in the for each loop so let's use status of zero zero means it's visible okay so now guys it's ready you can copy this and get back to your normal live wire blade file and here it's your brand so now guys let's refresh and check the output okay let's get back refresh cool so you get all the brand list guys so now guys let's start working all the brands filter part so let's get back and let's move to the controller of live wire so let's go to the product move top app http your live wire front end product index.php so from here you get to that same blade file okay the your brand list and your product so not to worry i'm going to that exact controller so guys we are seeing that here we are getting the products from the front end side what is the front end side means like front end controller we are sending the variable product and going to the normal blade file over there you are showing all the products right so we need to remove this and we directly need to get the data from the live wire itself so for that let's remove this guys Control x and remove this variable products and let's move to this blade file we have a product variable let's remove this not required now so just remove this all set only category data we are sending now you need to go to the index of product so we move and here you see on mount function we are getting this variable product but we removed that we removed from here right so you can just remove this products and control x and just put in the render function and now instead of dollar product you will be calling your model and getting the data so let's call the product model colon colon where condition and again where condition for checking it's hidden or visible and use the get method to display the data so now we are checking the status if it's zero that means you have to show it and now guys this where condition will be getting the specific category so we have to specify that category id and your category id data so dollar this of your category whatever you are getting so category of id all set and now guys let's check the output and refresh you see no difference okay so refresh perfect so it's the same so now guys what we have to do um let's get started with the brand filter okay so at this live wire here you'll be adding one wire colon model equal to double quotes your brand input inputs okay we have multiple checkbox okay so it's an array type so let's copy this and get back to your index.php of product and you paste i think this is a waste variable let's remove that and assign here okay so it's a brand input of array and now guys we need to do a query string okay so let me just google and show you that live wire okay let's hit enter now let's click here query string and we get this option guys okay so instead of search search query let's copy this copy and paste and now guys we need to get this brand input so let's here paste here brand input all set and this is from your normal live wire blade okay in input the same code we are pasting here and here so now with this help of 
brand input we need to filter the data okay so for that guys you need to check here let me break this down let's break and let's use a when function and here you set dollar this of your brand inputs okay your variable if any data comes it's like an when function is a if condition just so function open and close curly brace and now guys you need to pass a query so dollar q or dollar query anything you just type it dollar q of again where condition semicolon and here in the products table let's get back here in the products table let's go to the products table so we have a brand column b r a and d brand and we have stored the brand names directly not the id okay yep guys let's get that brand column name this is my brand where in you have to do okay so where in we will be checking it we have to filter multiple data right so we need to use where in not where condition so here you use where in comma dollar this of your brand inputs so pass that let's save and now guys let's refresh so okay so we refreshed and now i'm going to check with nokia here you see that a parameter has been passed question mark brand inputs of zero it's an array right we have multiple brands so it's sending nokia over here now you uncheck this your all the product list will be displayed cool and now i am going to check with mi here you see two mi phones has come and now if i check vivo vivo also will be listed and now let's uncheck mi perfect so you can see guys only vivo has been displayed uncheck here you see all the product list has been shown so now guys uh, i wanted one more thing like if i select mi here you see that in the parameter it's passing the too much long brand inputs but it's not a good way to show that so we can make short also let's go to this query string of live wire and you find the accept over here okay so in this method let me show another here it is so you can use this format also let's copy this guys Control c or let me just copy and here let's move it below all set your array and your data so instead of s let's make it to brand okay this brand input make it as brand and show the output let's save and now you can check the output so once refresh guys okay now select with vivo and you see that instead of writing brand inputs it's showing only brand perfect so guys we have successfully seen that how to make a filter option for brands okay so now guys let's get back once again to the code and let's go to this index blade of live wire so here you see that we are looping it directly right so we need to give a condition over here like if the brand is not available something like that you can just use a if condition over here if if brand of i mean category of brand is not there that time you can skip this brand filter option okay let's save and that's it guys in this video we have successfully completed the brand filter option and let's continue next video with the new filter option thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share